friends once again welcome back to the automation revolution uh, today in this video i will show you how to control the drive from hmi panel or from the web browser so for that we are, we are using uh, siemens ti portal software and uh, in this ti portal i have configured siemens plc uh, 1200 series and uh, downside you can see i have used hmi ktp 700 basic panel so for both this plc and hmi are communicating with each other from Profit Network Industrial Ethernet and here I have configured Cinemix G120 drive so for that I have added this GST file into uh, TI portal and uh, with this GST I have integrated a standard telegram uh, to control this drive from the PLC or HMI if you want to know more detail about how to configure this standard telegram you can see your previous video and here we are getting two input and uh, two output control status word and these are the uh, addressing for this input and output that we will use uh, to control the drive from PLC on HMI second thing uh, we want to control this drive from the PLC as well as from uh, the HMI and uh, if you want to control from web browser so we will activate this web server into this PLC so downside uh, in the property we are getting option web server and we can activate uh, this web browser into this module here I have integrated uh, this web page uh, with this web browser so as per our application we can design uh, web page and uh, we can change the data uh, through web browser or internet browser so after activating this uh, web browser we will download this PLC module and uh, here I have used two variable uh, my integer and motor uh, that variable uh, we are using into web browser and motor is for boolean and my integer to change the speed uh, from this PLC in this network view you can see here we are using uh, PLC HMI and uh, CNMS G120 AC drive and all three devices are communicating uh, with Profinet or industrial ethernet so for that uh, this IP address must be different so here we have uh, used 7.10 with the PLC 7.4 with HMI and 7.2 with Siemens G120 uh, drive now I will uh, explain you HMI so here I have generated uh, one screen and in this screen we have used different button to control uh, drive so these are uh, start button stop button these two button for uh, for reverse direction moving uh, movement this is for full diagnosis and uh, this two button off 2 and off 3 for emergency stop this two input output will will show you actual speed and set speed now i will explain you about programming so we'll move to main ob in this main ob uh, we are moving hexadecimal code uh, that will be uh, for uh, special uh, command to drive uh, ready or drive enable and uh, if you want to move uh, forward or reverse direction so every operation have different uh, hexadecimal code that uh, we will move into uh, this control status word so first this code is for drive enable or drive ready and that will move into qw64 this is uh, output for standard telegram control status word so you can see here from the plc input or hmi input we can move this hexadecimal code into qw64 then this motor is a uh, web data tag so from web browser we can enable this bit and uh, with this bit we can enable this memory bit uh, to drive uh, radio drive on this is the network for making drive into a uh, forward direction so from the HMI uh, tag table or uh, HMI this forward bit uh, we can move this hexadecimal code for forward direction command into control status word this is for fault acknowledgement 
so from the PLC or HMI we can move this uh, forward acknowledgement code into control status for this is for reverse direction if you want to change the uh, set uh, set point speed so here we have used PLC input and uh, with the scaling we are getting maximum speed into uh, this memory uh, memory word MW13 and that MW13 uh, value will be moved into control status for QW66 so here we are getting uh, this actual speed into QW66 we can change the speed uh, from the web browser uh, with the help of uh, that uh, web data these are the OF3 and OF2 hexadecimal code and we are moving into the control status word this is the scaled speed from the drive so this IW70 uh, is the input for the standard telegram and uh, whatever speed running in the drive that we, uh, we can see uh, from this input uh, IW17 this is the block uh, for web server www and in and last uh, we are moving this my integer data uh, into my speed so from this web browser we are entering the value or uh, to change the speed that will be moved into mw13 so after making this uh, program uh, for this hmi panel uh, we will set this event so particular button uh, we have set event you can see here this press release and we can set or reset beat HMI start stop for this uh, button stop button we have set this HMI full diagnosis and HMI stop for, for this off to uh, we have used the set and reset beat for HMI uh, off 2 and off 3 uh, so we can uh, we can set or reset this HMI bit and that HMI bit we have used here uh, to control uh, this drive. So after downloading this program, uh, we will open web browser. So here uh, I will enter this PLC IP address. here we are getting the Siemens uh, web page this web, web page we can uh, get only uh, if PLC is connected with the internet so in this case I have connected the LAN cable uh, with this PLC and if you don't have uh, internet uh, LAN cable so you can add uh, the Wi-Fi module also but anyhow we uh, we must connect internet with the PLC so here we are getting this web page and we will enter user id and password that i have generated from the web browser and we will log in into this web page so after uh, logging into this uh, web page we are getting different option identification and uh, we can get diagnosis buffer for this plc and we will move into user page and here we are getting uh, this user defined web page that we have created into html and i will click on that button and here we are getting this uh, user defined web page now i will click on this motor button so this drive will run and well i will press motor off button so drive will be off so that we will see into uh, the example in actual hardware so let's see how it's work so here we have uh, this user defined web page from this uh, browser and uh, where i will click on this motor on button so that time uh, this motor will be on you can see in this drive motor is running and i can make a uh, motor off from this motor off button where i will click on this motor off button so this motor will be off I can also change this uh, speed from this user defined web page. I will enter here 5000 and enter. And now we click on this motor on button. So this speed will be changed now. You 
navel of this mod so from this hmi panel also we can uh, control uh, drive and uh, you can see this hmi is connected uh, with this plc and from this plc switch uh, we have connected this drive to popinator industry ethernet now i will uh, first enable this drive from this button and i will click on this forward button so motor is running now in uh, forward direction and uh, here you can get this actual speed and actual rpm i can stop this motor from this button this motor is now off once again we can uh, enable and uh, we'll now move into a reverse direction so now motor is re uh, moving in reverse direction we can change uh, speed from this uh, input output field I will click on this button I will enter here speed so you can see now motor is running in 200 rpm and that we can see here now I will switch 